He said, gather me all Israel under Mount Carmel and all the prophets of Baal, 400 and how many? 50. And the prophets of the groves, how many? Which eat at Jezebel's what? That makes 850 prophets that gal was feeding. Prophets of Baal. Was she a religious woman? Was she religious? She was 850 religious. She was so religious it stuck out of her ears. She had surrounded herself with 850 prophets. That's why I keep telling our people Christianity is not a religion. This gal was religious as all get out. People today are religious. That doesn't cut any ice with me. Why? Because the God whom I serve is not the God of the religion. The God whom we serve is the God and Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. There is only one God, not a trinity, only one. And we serve him whom to know is to have life and have it eternally. And it is not a religion. Religion is man-made. There's a lot of religion in so-called Christianity, and so-called Christianity is nothing but religion. Christianity is the way of a father with his family. God is our father. We are his children. It's what God did in Christ, not what man does. Well, she was a real religious gal, wasn't she? She must have spent all her time in church. 850. So Ahab, verse 20, sent unto all the children of Israel and gathered the prophets together unto Mount Carmel. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long? All ye, Israel, chosen of God, supposed to be, but they'd certainly drifted away. How long halt ye between Two opinions. If God, if the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal be God, then follow us. Him. And the people answered him not a word. That's right. The cry of our day and our time is the same as this. Again, we've got to declare to people the word of the Lord and say to people, make up your mind. Are you going to serve the true God or are you going to serve religion and paganism and all that baloney? How long are you going to halt between two opinions? And boy, you and I leaving this youth advance in this auditorium tonight to go back in our areas, we better be sure. Whether we're going to stay put on God's word or the first time somebody sticks up his little old snozzola, we go under, you know. No. Nah. Halt between two opinions. If the Lord be God, do what? Follow him. And if he isn't God, then follow whom? People, let's make up our minds. If God's word is God's will, let's do it. And if it's not God's word and it's not God's will, let's chuck it. Let's not play in on the misty plot. Trying to hold both ends to the middle. You can't. Like trying to climb an electric fence that's charged all the way through and it's on top of a seven foot other fence and you just can't get over it without touching. Then said Elijah, verse 22, unto the people, I, even I only remain a prophet of the Lord. I'm the only one here that's a prophet of the Lord, but Baal's prophets, 450, let those fellows then, therefore, give us two bullocks. And let them choose one bullock for themselves and cut it in pieces, lay it on the wood, put, put no fire under it, however. And I, the man of God, the prophet of God, will dress the other bullock and lay it on wood and put no fire under and call ye on the name of your God and I'll call on the name of the Lord. And the God who answereth by fire, let that one or let him be what? God. We're going to have a contest. A little do. D double O. Long O. And all the people, and all the people answered and said, That's well spoken. 
You know why they said this? Because of the odds. 450 to 1. One. You add the other 400 who'd sit around and pray, you know, you'd have 850 to 1. I want to tell you, if you had that at a horse race at the Kentucky Derby and you were on the winning side, you'd make some money. Well, if the odds were 850 to 1, wouldn't you? That's why the people didn't answer a word earlier, but boy, when he set up this thing, 850 to 1, the people said, that's good, that's good, we got him, we got him, we got him. Yeah. They just knew they had this one in the bag. <laughs> well, now let's see. Verse 25. And Elijah said unto the prophets of Baal, Choose your one bullock, for sale, dress for it. many are called the name of your God, but put no fire on it. And they took the bullock which was given them, they dressed it, called the name of Baal. How long? From morning even until noon. That's a pretty long call. From morning till what? Noon. They called on the name of Baal, saying, Oh, Baal, hear us. Oh, Baal, won't you please hear us? Oh, Baal, don't you know we worship you and we love you? Oh, Baal. How about a little fire? But there was no voice, no response from Baal. Nor any that what? Answered. And they leaped upon the altar which was made. They were Pentecostal, what am Pentecostal? Or something. <laughs> they not only leaped, they got up on top of the altar and they whooped and they hollered and they shouted. And they leaped up and they said, Oh, Baal, here is oh, Baal, here is oh, Baal, here is oh, Baal. More? And I bet the prophet sat there. He liked it. Had to put his fingers. After all, you've got 450 yelling at the top of their voice. It's got a little noise around the place, right? Ah, oh, this is neat. Verse 27. And it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked them. Oh, that's putting salt in the wound. And he said, why don't you fellas cry a little louder? Or he is a god, or maybe he's talking to someone and he can't hear. Yell a little louder. Or he is pursuing. He's out for a walk. But see in gegangen, you German people. You know, a nice little, a ni a nice little walk with his buddies, you know. He can't hear you. Yell a little louder. Or perhaps he just went on a trip to Europe. Took a journey. Or maybe he's sleeping. And you have to wake him. This is why in so-called Hindu temples, you know, every time you enter the temple, you ring the bell. That tells the God you're coming, it's time for him to wake up. And what, yeah, sure it's true. And when you leave the temple, you ring the bell and tell him he can now go for a walk or he can rest because you've left. To this day, all over. That's why, this is just like it's written today, people. Maybe God's sleeping, you ought to yell a little louder. Used to be I'd go to meetings, you know, I've been with people who pray for one hour and a half. And they get real, you know, sort of effervescent on the situation. And of course, I didn't know any better then either. But I thought you had to pray long and loud and hard till you got worn out, so God know you were worn out, then you were humble enough maybe to come and do a little bit. Later on, I learned that we talk so long and so loud because we believe so little. <laughs> well, they talked long and loud, didn't they? You know what else they did? Verse 28, they cried aloud and they cut themselves even with knives showing that, boy, we're letting out our blood for you, Baal. And lancelets till the blood gushed out upon them. And it came to pass when midday was past. And they what? Oh, boy, they even prophet, were they religious? Why, sure, they were prophets of Baal as religious as you could get. They washed their hands at the right time and their feet, and they 
Had everything just in perfect order? Handled? Everything beautiful. Huh. They did this until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice, that there was neither voice nor any to answer, nor any that regarded. Not one thing happened. 